Welcome. Please come in and take a seat. It has been some time since you first reached out to our bank. Uh, my apologies, we have uh, an extensive application list. Each application is reviewed diligently, with care and consideration. Now the Bank of Articulate, likely unlike any other bank you have ever We are what's considered an offshore installation, a bank that isn't bound by the jurisdiction of the US, the UK, or the Eurozone. How do you like the island? It's beautiful. Temperate. sunny and mostly dry just a little occasional rain shower that breaks up normalcy but we're not here to discuss weather can I get you a coffee sure and again my name is Matt and I've been with Bank of Articulate for 23 years, almost since its inception. And we cater to the executive, the exclusive customer. And we specialize in maximizing returns. It is a overused saying. Your money should be working for you. You shouldn't be working for the money. Now, of course, that's nice and easy. If you don't have any money, you have to go and get it. At some point in your life, you went out to the world and made your fortune. And now you want to protect it, to expand upon it. And we here in BOA, We'll do just that. So before we can go any further, we have to open up uh, something called a flex account. Now we have a variety of products on offer. We deal in Flex accounts, investments, bonds, stock. We can also provide a business loan at a very, very competitive 3.5 APY. But we will get into this. I know you have quite a lot to get covered today. You have cash to deposit into your account today. Good. We deal with some of the brightest minds in the world. And still many forget to bring their cash deposits for opening their Flex account. Now the Flex account as it would suggest, provides complete flexibility to the customer. Reasonably competitive APR, 1.8% on all savings. And you'll yes. 
Now, as you all have no doubt found in your research, here on the island, we operate with a currency called Kabaj. Now, the Kabaj trades at approximately 100 to 1 of the British pound. And about 109 108 to the US dollar. And frankly, who cares about the Eurozone? Um, the Euro. About 110 to 1. Put simply, the average house price of a uh, two bed in the UK maybe is 250,000 pounds, maybe 350,000 US dollars. Translates to about 2,500 kibashes. Okay. Before we open up the flex account, you have your money to deposit. We'll go through the formalities. Full legal name, please. The third. Interesting. I'd love to hear more about the family lineage. Over dinner, perhaps. Beautiful Kenyan blend. Typically, I, I drink Mexican. The Mexican bean is just that little bit sweeter for me, but this Kenyan is really quite remarkable. Okay, in a form of ID, please. address mm. typically what you would call your tax residency and your business address for the island excellent I know the house really 16,000 kibashas that, my friend, is uh, it's a good deal. I actually know the woman who was selling that. Interesting lady. She likely thought she got a good deal, but uh, you only know, see the true merit of a good deal is when both parties feel like they got a raw deal. So somewhere in the middle. We're almost done here. Okay, I'm gonna pop a single use code to your registered mobile. Can you read me back the code, please? Perfect. Okay, we have your Flex account created. You are one of our customers. Of course, I will take deposit. A thousand kibashas. Understood. Excellent. As you are leaving today, we'll issue you with debit card for use of the account. I understand it's likely more for um, procedure and not something that you'll be using. Procedure is important, essential, in fact. 
Okay. Will you be adding any beneficiaries to the account? Not to this one. No problem. Okay. Now, before we uh, proceed any further, but you elaborate a little bit on your business or your business and what the goals are. I'd like to build up a customer profile. And we can tailor the products and their offerings. you not have found in your research, the island enjoys the benefit of being entirely tax-free. And the cabbage is trading very, very strongly against all national currencies. And here we have it pegged to gold. Sounds like business is flourishing. How many countries are you active in? Or let me rephrase. How many countries do you have a tax obligation in? The UAE is a blessing to anyone who is fortunate enough to live there. Oh, we have another customer there. This man set up a company driving people around the island in his car. And he drives them all night and charges them an exhaustionate sum of money to do so. He calls it a sleep service. Apparently, they're popping up all over the world. Um, unique idea. But he too enjoys the benefit of being entirely tax-free. be requirement for a business loan. Good, we can get to that. Fine. Okay, let's um, put a pin in this for just now. If you're looking for investment options, again, to have your money work for you, we can definitely help. Few things you should know. We have a 0.2% fee on only gains. So if we were to run into a black swan event and the market was to crash, pull back, you would be charged nothing. We would make no money in this transaction. And the reason we're able to position ourselves is because, unlike the market, we realize that it's almost impossible to beat. Something like 96% of all managed hedge funds fail to beat the S&P 500. Now, the S&P 500 is just a stock market in the US. A managed hedge fund is a pool of usually individual stock picks that's managed by uh, one or a team of individuals, usually charging exorbitant rates as fees. And 90, maybe more, maybe more, but 96% of these managed hedge funds that you pay a product fee for do worse than if you just put your money into what's called a tracker or an ETF of the S&P 500. Now we offer such a tracker and all it does is sits in line with all the companies that are registered to the S&P 500. Okay. And the reason 
people trying to get clever is because they want more. The S&P 500 on average increases between 9 to 11 percent annually and it just trends up. Yes, there are significant pullbacks. Drops and crashes as significant as 30 to 40 percent in the space of a week. But it doesn't matter because with time draw. You'll need to forgive me. This bottom axis. Do you know what this is? stocks, you can make significant amounts of money, but you also stand to do worse than the S&P 500 in more than 96% of cases. Okay. Now, what I would propose for your requirements a fixed saver account two years and what this entails five percent APY very reasonable entirely fixed the interest rate will not move Guaranteed. That five percent. Okay. You put in a thousand kabajas for two years, you're getting paid five percent every year. Okay? So after the first year you're going to have hundred and five kabajas. Okay. Thousand and fifty kabajas if it's a thousand. Okay? Now the way we make money compound interest. So at the end of the first year, you take your 1050 or your 105, and now it's 5% of this new figure. Understand? And then once you take your two years, it's going to be 5% of this new figure. And if you've been adding money in the entire time, it's called compounding interest. I'll send you a link to a compound interest calculator. And if you're paying in a single cabbage, $100 every month into a fund, compounding interest, fixed APR, you would be astonished how quickly you can rustle up a million cabbage. Okay. Let me take you through the two-year saver. Fixed interest rate that we covered. Interest is tax-free. Now, savers have an annual limit. Okay, an annual limit for this particular account of 200,000 kabajas. Okay, 200,000 kabajas. Can be paid into and you can actually choose to have your interest paid monthly I'll pay it at a different rate it'll work out at approximately five percent a year but divided by 12 okay it also qualifies you for our platinum express card Now, 
the uh, contractual obligations. Please bear in mind, you have to make an initial deposit within 60 days of opening the two year, which we've already done today. Minimum opening deposit. Thousand capaches, no issue for you. Tax, government ID you provided. Now, interestingly, with the five percent APY, the account will be locked for withdrawals for two years. If you rather have a flexible option, the APY will drop to three point two percent. Okay, so two years, fixed at 5%, no withdrawals. Withdrawals enabled, you fall down to 3.2% APY over a two year period. Sure, two year fixed. large um, wire transfer makes the most sense we have uh, very favorable transfer costs with um, our fellow BOA Bank of America we're doing great business with Halifax in the UK uh, even ECB has been uh, more than diplomatic a lot of people look uh, down with condescension to offshore banking because they don't fully understand what we're doing and how we're doing it. And for your information, we are insured up to a value of three million cabages. On this account. If you were to open up um, an investment account, insurance rises to six billion kiboshes, which um, I don't think we'll be depositing today. Good. Okay. Now, we opened your flex account. We have a nice two year fixed APY earner for you. Now, let's talk about. So with the interest rate being as high as it is, which is why we're able to offer the 5% fixed, investing in the stock market just now is difficult. The S&P 500 likely will not outperform your base interest rate, which is why people are pulling liquidity out of the markets and putting them in to high interest rates. I'm putting them in to high interest banking accounts. But at some point, the Fed will pivot. The Fed being the Federal Reserve. The guys and girls that printed us into this massive money that we're now surrounded by. At some point, the Fed will pivot and money will stop being taken out of the system and people will find their risk tolerances and re-enter the Okay, so if you're banking with us, we like to have a pool of liquidity. 50% of any money you have with us, we like to have it not in one of our accounts, but an account you have access to that you can feed into the market. If we enter some kind of uh, black swan event, like we saw in 2019, where the markets make a very sudden and very drastic this is where you need liquidity to pass, okay? And with us, you simply open a stock account, and again, 
from the very small management fee, we can pick the ETFs, group funds for you, or you can do it yourself with no fee. What I mean is that you can pick up your own S&P 500 ETF tracker, your own FTSE 100 tracker, and you can pay us 0.2% of profits, and we'll manage it for you. But again, we don't typically deal in individual stock picks. With the exception if we saw Black Swan event, if we saw a major pullback. There are times when you see deep value stock. Okay? So we're typically very conservative in our risk profile. We're somewhere about here. Our customers are clearly already wealthy, and when you are wealthy, it's more about wealth preservation than wealth creation. Two very different things. That said, we do have a product that allows you to tailor your risk profile. Do you know off the top of your head what your company grossed last year? Okay. You bet that. Earnings after 10 years. Okay. You're in a very healthy position. You have real estate. physical gold trackers if you listen to a gold bull for even five minutes they'll tell you that the markets are mismatched there's manipulation that the physical supply of gold and silver is far less than is marked on books by allocation I don't know if that's true I don't care we have vaults here that we can assign to you for any store precious metals okay if you have your own storage solutions no problem they come as part of product trackers entirely free to use I've also hold 65 kilos of gold gold bars far less of silver okay mm-hmm on your current stock allocations. Fine. Recently liquidated. All right. Any commodities? Okay. Well, <clears throat> bonds. 
just now are unfavorable. They're not doing short-term bonds are, are doing quite well. The 30, 20, 30 year bonds are way, way, way down. Um, that could be an opportunity. You need to see. But a stock and a bond are two very different things. A bond is uh, a piece of debt. Okay. So if you buy a government bond, let's say you buy a one year bond from the government, quite often called CDs, and it's a 2% bond. So you give them $1,000 in this case, and at the end of the, the year, they are legally obligated to give you 1020 in return. Okay. 2% of your original investment. Okay. So a bond is a debt. You are taking someone else's debt in exchange for your cash with the obligation that they then pay you back plus the interest amount, okay? A stock or an equity. You're buying equity in someone's business. So let's say this is my business and I decide to divide my stock my business into all of these keys. When you buy one of these keys, let's say a key is 5%. So I divide my company up into 20 different stocks. When you buy one of these, you own one twentieth of the company. And then if at the end of the year, the company does very well, the value of these individual stocks if it's publicly traded, will rise. And maybe you bought it for 100, 200. And at the end of the year, we report record profits, super healthy growth. And suddenly one stock is now no longer 10 or 20, it's 300. And you can sell the stock back to the market and get out. So a stock is an equity, a portion of a company. A bond is a debt that you're buying, essentially, in exchange. People don't, re people misunderstand and mischaracterize what a bond is. Bonds were typically the safest way to grow your money. When you were a little kid, maybe when your parents were kids, they would be given a 50 unit bond it matured in 20 years and after 20 years you got 55 which of course doesn't beat inflation but uh, it's besides the point bonds are typically zero to very very low risk stocks depending on which stock you buy considerably higher then of course there's crypto which is on a different risk tolerance altogether but not to be underestimated serious levels of risk, okay? Now, we will open up your Flexi stock account. If we're marking at 90% block allocation, so we'll manage 90% of the funds that you put into it. The 10% can be for yourself. Well, I can't give you exact stock picks. But what I would do is get comfortable with understanding what a PE ratio is. PE, price to earnings ratio. If you can get comfortable with understanding what a company's PE ratio is, it is a very helpful indicator, but not guaranteed, okay? Typically, a company with a lower P-E ratio is more primed or is in a better position for exponential growth, okay? And it's important to understand that a low P-E ratio, again, doesn't guarantee that a company will explode one day. P-E is simply worked out by the price of the stock divided by the earnings per share. 
we were talking about dividing this up into 20. Whatever my earnings are, I divide that by how many shares I have. This is EPS. And if you have no idea, you don't need to calculate EPS. When a company releases its quarterly financials, towards the bottom of the public release, there will be an EPS, earnings per share. And if they're adhering to GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, it usually appears about one third down the statement and control F, search EPS. It almost always appears right below net income. So you take the EPS, the earnings per share, and divide it by the market value of a single share. Okay, that gives you your PE ratio. High PE ratio is typically not always, not even close to always represents a company that is slightly overvalued. Tesla very recently exploded to an insanely high PE ratio, but that doesn't mean they can't continue to go higher. It pulled back significantly. But if you, if we were having this discussion three years ago, Tesla already had a high PE ratio. And if you applied, this is a general rule, you would have avoided the stock missed out on thousands of percentage points. It is a rule, not a hard and fast gospel truth. Okay? Something to be aware of. But if you can get in the habit of calculating P ratio, as well as understanding the company's cash position, any future contracts they might be winning, you can pick up some wonderfully undervalued stocks. For your 10%, your play money. The 90%, typically, again, we're locked into large trackers with the occasional stock pick that will be followed to you on the list I mentioned. Feel free to use these on your own. Okay? We believe in maximum transparency. So when it works, when you pay in, let's say, a um, thousand kibajas to your stock account, we'll take control of the 900 and invest within two to three days. The 10% will sit with you as pure liquid cash for you to invest in. It must be part of your welcome email, a link to the stock dashboard for you. You type in the symbol, exactly, pick your stock, we'll arrange the buy, we'll broker and if you want to re recategorize from the 90-10 to 80-20, 50-50, you need 10 to 14 business days notice to release any positions that we currently have at, at no cost, typically. But be mindful that with stocks, there's a buy and a sell price. So when you sell, you're always losing 1% always, but generally speaking. Excellent. Now, if I could get you to sign our bond of commitment. Good. Authorizing us to have a 90% share of money into your stock account. I appreciate we have moved very quickly today. Let's review. A flex account, 8,000 kibajas opened. Debit card to be picked up on your way out. year fixed account, 5%, APY, if you switch to flexible, you drop down to 3.2, the stock account currently sitting at a 90% fix for managed
font. For our own projections, if you can give us an idea of what kind of sum you expect to put into the stock account. Okay. Jake Wellen. Good. Okay. Uh, in addition to the debit card, make sure you prepare keys for Vault 1 and 3. Precious metals. satisfying to the future to being wealthy successful but maintaining a modicum of humility Explain.